Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. In today's episode, it's going to be a little bit of a weird one, I will admit. My mind is a little bit scattered because I'm getting ready for the final saga of the bosses, which is of course the Moon Lord, which you know, obviously we're going to go on and do uh, all the other stuff. But uh, I'm kind of all jumbled around because I'm trying to make sure that I've kind of checked everything off my little checklist of things that I know I needed to do before the Moon Lord. And I'm thinking like, all right, do we have the right wings? Do we have the right accessories? Am I using the right weapon? Do we have the right setup? Do we have the right crafting materials for this? Have we got these potions? Have we not? And I'm all jumbled up. I really, really am. But uh, I'm going to show you what I worked on today. I had a little bit of a busy day. I've been working on my office, just making sure it's all... Um, all ready to move in all the new furniture and stuff tomorrow. And then I think I've got more packages coming Saturday for my office. Because, you know, as you know, I've been decorating it and redecorating it. And today, I even, like, sat down and had a nap. And that was lovely. But other than that, I've been busy with Terraria. So, I have improved upon the boss arena for the Moon Lord, right? So, this is what it was before. It was basically just one long pillar and then two kind of long platforms coming out. Now, this is two long platforms coming out. And they've all got set up with heart lanterns and uh, heart statues because we uh, we got more when we were looking around. And I have a second pillar to show me where the borders are. And I just think it looks nice. And I also moved my dryad in for the beginning of the fight just to give us extra defense. I believe it's like eight extra defense. I think it is. What are we on? 55? And then come out of that little circle thing. No. No. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we didn't even pick it up. Let's see. Let's see if we can pick it up. Okay, she's not casting it now. Hey, it's Slime Rain. I didn't even, I didn't even notice. Yeah, okay, so it's eight defense. Right, so one of the other things I did was I set up all our potions. We are good to go for all of the towers, the Lunatic Cultist, and everything like that. So that is good. I also set up a uh, Hallow Biome because we've been needing one. So I got a bunch of Holy Water. And I made a hallowed biome because we are off there today to go and get ourselves some pixie dust to make some, like, magic powder. Magic powder mixes with something else to make something else. Something else then mixes with something else to make something else. Something, something, and then you get the upgrade to the angel threads, which is needing to be done now so that when we do the towers, we do the first tower, we upgrade to the next angel threads. That removes one accessory slot. That frees up one slot for another accessory, which will make the fight a lot easier. And we'll have great movement speed. It's been honestly so jumbled doing all the uh, expertise crafting at the end because we uh, we skipped a lot of stuff as we did our blind playthrough. And uh, I'm kind of paying for it now. So here we are. Here is our hallowed biome. Uh, it's pretty simple, but I really, really like the hallowed. I'm, I'm so glad we actually have one now. So it's good to actually get one. So it's kind of like Core of Calamity mixes with something else to make something else to make something else you need some essence of Elium. i remember that and we're probably going to need more ecto blood and ectoplasm to keep making more cores because i'm going to need to turn these into core of calamities i think i need five i'm so jumbled right now <laughs> i'm so so jumbled but you know i get hang of it i uh, i really appreciated you all leaving your suggestions on don't starve Super excited. I'm going to go into it blind tomorrow when I've got a little bit more free time. I purchased, because uh, I actually had it. I bought it when it first first came out. I just never never got to play it. Uh, but I purchased the expansions um, Shipwrecked and Reign of the Giants. I already had Don't Starve Together because if you bought it on day one, uh, when they were adding Don't Starve Together... They just gave it to everybody who had already purchased the game before they decided to make Don't Starve together. And that's why I have it, but I've never played it. So, you know, that was nice. Everyone was suggesting that. Uh, maybe I can get a few YouTubers on who will uh, who will play that with me. Once I've gotten good at the game and uh, really given it a go and seeing if I really like it. So, we are just on the hunt for Pixie Dust. We have, wow, quite a bit already. I'm, like, wondering if that's probably enough. Let's open the crafting menu. You are going to see me do this a lot today. But I promise, we're all le we're leading up to a big episode. That's why I'm taking my time with this. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. Let's see. Right, so pixie dust makes stardust, right? And it makes five per tick. You use stardust to make... Let's just look at bar of life. Bar of life, you need 
this stuff and this stuff. I've already got those ready. But you need verse versatilite bar. Versatilite bar. Okay, this is using angel dust, cryonic ore, which we have some of in the house, and some essence of allelium. So that is that. So that's one thing. We need the angel, the bars of life for that. So we need bars of life and then meldiate bars. And the meldiate bars is what we don't have and won't have. And then I need three calls of calamity. And then it's done. Do you know what? That's actually not that bad now that I'm looking at it. I was getting super confused. So you need Hellstone, Chlorophy, Hallowed, Meld Blob, and Ectoplasm. That's where we needed the Ectoplasm. I knew we needed the Ectoplasm. So let's go and get some Ectoplasm. And apparently the Meld Blob is a drop from the Lunatic Cultist. So you make it before you do any of the, uh, any of the things. A Bone Feather. I feel like that's a base game, that's a ba that's a vanilla item, but I can't remember what it makes. Oh yeah, bone wings. God, they look awesome. They look so good. We're not going to make them, of course. We have had a good amount of wings, even pre-hard mode wings. We have had enough wings in this series. Hey, I didn't know you could get Core of Chaos here. Maybe it's because we were in a biome. Oh no, you do actually just get them from the dungeon? I'm super confused today. I My mind is boggled. Painting again, painting... Moving stuff into my office, moving stuff out of my office. It's just been <laughs> a roller coaster of a day, but my god, did I need a nap. I literally made some good food. I made steak baguette. I, uh, I got all snug, had a nice little nap, and my god, I feel fresh as though. I've been, uh, I've been having a few late nights recently, making sure I've got all my videos ready for my office. When uh, Basically, when I move over, I have to make sure I've got content ready, just so I can take a day off or whatever. And, um... <laughs> yeah, it's just been it's just been a little bit mad. It's been a little bit mad. And I feel a lot better today. I feel really, really good. Okay. So, Wrath of the Ancients again. This is cool. Cast a granite pulse. Right, I did that. And uh, I did it on a granite house. And it seemed to just not stop firing. I clicked it once. And it went on for like 30 seconds. I wonder if it like reacts with the granite really well. I was like, oh my god, this is so annoying. The sound was just... Honestly, so annoying. Hey, crab statue. I never noticed that when we first came through. Okay, so we have... Ooh, 15 ecto blood. So that might not be enough ectoplasm just yet. I'm going to make sure I'm just fully equipped. I want to be fully equipped so that we're not running around when uh, we've got to do the pillars. But you know what? Actually, I feel pretty good about what we've got going on now. So... I'm going to be using a yo-yo setup for the fight. I feel like I'm going to go with that just because I kind of uh, know the yo-yo setup. And then we can just have loads of fun with some other stuff in the future. But uh, I, you know I love yo-yos and I especially love this modded yo-yo. So I think I'm going to do a modded yo-yo for the fight for definite. And I think I could do well with one. That's the thing. I really do. So I don't feel too bad about that. About using a, a modded yo-yo for the fight. I feel like I can do it. I feel like I can do it. But now I'm also thinking, do we need a mount? But then I'm also thinking, I bet these angel thread things are really awesome. You know, the upgraded angel thread. So then I'm like, well, we probably won't need a mount. But then I'm like, man, I could do with some Betsy's wings. But then I'm also like, maybe we don't need that. But then I'm thinking, if we have a UFO mount, we might be a little bit better. But then I'm thinking, I don't really like the UFO event. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I actually really don't like the UFO event. I don't know if I've... Uh, I must have said that a few times, but I don't like the UFO event. I don't like the pillars, and I'm not too fond on the Moon Lord anymore. I liked it when it first came out. I'm a little bit bored of it now. Fleeting Black Belt. Oh, I also made the uh, the Ankh Shield because we had all of the items. And we've had all the items for ages because, thankfully, we got a Nazar at the, uh, from one of the bosses, if you guys remember. And that's the only piece that's actually really hard to get. We got the rest from just, just finding them about, like Armor Polish, like Tally Counter. Uh, what else was there? There were loads of little um, things, but we had them all anyway, so I thought, why not? I've never actually made one, to be honest. I've never had the need to. But I just went ahead and did it. I reforged it. Thankfully, we've had just a ton of money this series because we've not had to spend too much on reforging. The accessories we've been using throughout the series have really, you know, really stood the test of time. Like, we've been using some of these since, like, the very, very early on episodes. Like, they've been changed and modified a slight bit. But, uh, yeah, just been just been really, really good. Okay, right. That's going to be enough ectoplasm for now. So I'm going to go back 
and we're going to make sure we have everything ready for this. So I'm going to take a wild guess that this is done. All right, there is a lot of stuff here. So going to make Core of Cinder, Core of Chaos, Core of Elium, and then we're going to make turn that into Core of Calamity. No, which which is the last thing for Core of Calamity? Okay, Core of Calamity. Oh, you need five of each. So I'm going to need to make three, three, three. And that makes Core of Calamity. Okay, so I'll have the one. So that makes two. So we still need more, right? We still need uh, a few more. So, let's see. Uh, we need the Stardust. I don't know how much Stardust we're going to need. So, maybe make... I don't know, 20? Let's make 20 Stardust. And the Core of Calamity, we still need more of. But to make more Core of Calamity, I am going to need more Ectoplasm. Is it Ectoplasm I'm going to need more of? Yes. So, one, two. Uh, one, one, two. One, two. And then that will make one more. So that's three. So let's look this up again. So, bar of life uses versa blah, blah, blah. So you need versa blah, blah, blah. And they uh, use cryonic ore and essence of Elium. So we have five essence of Elium. Now we need the cryonic ore. So I don't know where I might have stored this. Because obviously like cryonic ore. Right, okay, that's fine. I was going to say because obviously we've been storing stuff really weird for the past few days. So I've got that done. This is going to take me a while by the way guys. I'm just like proper like going through it in my head. So I've got the cryonic ore, the stardust, and the elium. And that should make versa type bars. So I can already make that now then. Okay, so I'm gonna make five just to begin with. Because then we're gonna see what I need next. So five will make some bars of life, because we already have the rest. Right. No. No. Okay, what am I? Right, I'm really thinking here. <laughs> this is, I don't know why this is so tricky for me to understand, but it really is for some reason. Okay, so we've made that. Bar of life, you need... You need this stuff. So this, Dreodon, and Krupix are the Mithril Anvil. So we have that, 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 and that. But maybe you need more. No? Why is it not showing up? Is it not showing up for a particular reason? Or am I just being stupid? Oh, it's there. Okay. So we'll make five. So when I go into here, we need five. Free core of calamity. Ah, so we're done. We're done. That's it. That's literally it. Right. I am going to clear everything up. And then I'm going to get ready for the Lunatic Cultist fight. Because why not? So uh, I'll do a little jump cut because it's going to take me a little while. And uh, we'll go do the Lunatic Cultist. Cool. All right. See you then. All right. So it is time to do uh, the Lunatic Cultist. This will not take long. i tell you what. I will slap up this though. Just in case. Right. So this should be a really quick fight. Just before we go into it though. Got to make a little bit of history here and just say... Thank you guys so much for uh, 25,000 subscribers. We uh, started this series, we had like 8,000, and you guys have just kept growing and growing and growing. So, guys, thank you so much. YouTube won't display it because it's going through that weird glitchy phase, as you guys probably are aware of. But uh, it's definitely past it now. YouTube is just uh, catching up on you guys. Right. So, let's do this. I haven't done this one in a while, but... I mean, I think we can all agree it's a pretty easy fight. Well, I say that. I hopefully, hopefully I won't get wrecked. Okay, where you at, buddy? Right. Okay, awesome. Right, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a, a, usually a pretty boring fight. It's uh, not that challenging. Not really. It's 
It's a little bit challenging with the wings I've got at the minute, though. It's kind of hard to keep up. I kind of wish I had my mount. Oh, no, I did the wrong one. Does that mean he's going to summon the dragon? Oh, it does. Oh, my God, the dragon's here. Oh, my God. Oh, let's kill the dragon first, though. Right, okay, we're good, we're good. I'm getting pretty cocky. I don't want my health to get too low. Oh my god, heal up, heal up. Okay, where you at, dude? Okay, which one is it? It's that one. No. Which one was it? I'm so confused. Was it the one in the ground? I think it was the one in the ground, right? Okay, there we go. Right, so we got the Mel Blob like we intended. And uh, we are going to back out of there because... Oh my god, I hate the pillars. I really, really don't like the pillars. They are uh, going to be the bane tomorrow. Because, honestly, I just never have been a fan of them. Right, so, hallowed bars, chlorophyte bars, hellstone bars. And then we also need the core of calamity, the bars of life, the angel threads. These count as wings, if not we have extra wings. So, let's see. Can we make them? Right, they probably don't count as wings. So, let's find the wings that we have. Because we have other wings, that's the thing. Alright, we got leaf wings here. Okay, let's see. No? Okay. Oh, it's because we're not made the uh, the bars, right? Okay, we've not made the bars. Look at me, this chatting away, chatting away. We've not even made the bars. Oh, I need the ectoplasm. <laughs> that's what I needed the ectoplasm for. Right, I'm going to find the ectoplasm because it'll be around here somewhere. I just smack stacked a bunch of stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Right, let me find this stuff. It'll be around here somewhere. Quick jump cut. Okay, so I found four ectoplasm, so that might not be enough. But I've also got some chlorified bars here. I was I picked up Dreodon bars and was like, that's chlorified, right? So I need to make now... Uh, there's something I need to make. The, the These guys. So five of those. And they make the Sephira Tracers. Counts his wings, excellent acceleration, excellent flight time, ludicrous speed, great mobility on ice, water and lava walking, temporary immunity to lava, increased wing flight time. But menacing as well. Jesus. Right, let's try these out. Oh my god. That is, that is ludicrous. That is actually like so good. We are going to be running away from things so fast. Let's see if I can run away from this little... Uh, this little thing that's meant to attack you in the air. Oh, I totally can. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> they are so good. Right, we're freed off an accessory slot now. So, uh, if that guy doesn't come back... Oh, he's going to come back. There you are. There we go. Right, so one last thing we can do is make an Avengers Emblem. So that's 15% increase to melee damage. I'm trying to remember what, a, uh, what an Avenger Emblem does. Avenger emblem 12% increased damage and then what does the celestial shell do? Celestial shell turns away. No this one I'm not really bothered about it then. I feel like we'll be fine with this Let's go and try and kill something and then that's gonna do it for today's episode. We'll uh We'll get back to uh killing things tomorrow then doing the moon lord See that's pretty good, isn't it? Like that is that is not bad. Wow that speed though. It drops my frames, like, so well. <laughs> That's how you know it's good, because it's a frame dropper. Okay, let's see how we do against these guys, because this is why I don't like this event, because I always find these too challenging. Just every little enemy in here just does my head in. Yeah, do you know what? This might actually work. Like, this might actually just work for us, this little setup. If I'm not struggling too much with these guys, I think, uh... I think we could be fine. I think this armor is really good as well, though. Oh my god, yeah, we'll be fine against the Moon Lord, as long as I can avoid its hits. Right, we should be fine, right, I'm gonna bail on that. Wow, okay, I'm kind of, I'm kind of jaw dropped now. Guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode, as always, thank you so much for watching, I hope you had an absolutely awesome day, and I hope you continue having an awesome day, I'm sorry today was so baffling for me. Oh my god, I just realised the sprite, oh, the sprite is awesome. Wow. Oh my god. All right. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.